Hey everyone, and welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2. Last time, we went to the new area, and we figured out there was apparently an heirloom under the water somewhere. So we're gonna try that out. We're gonna head under the water, and see just where that heirloom is. See if we can find it, at the very least. I will say, if this is how big the air, the game is when you when it's still this early in beta test, this game is going to be huge when the game actually is released. I find that fantastic. It's freaking fantastic. So the first thing I want to do, because all right, so the insight says it's below the water line, um, by the far shores. I am going to just make sure that it's not just past here, past the boss fight, and in the water right around here. I'm going to do a really quick check. So I'm going to just, when I find water, I'm going to dive in and see. Nope. Oh, that's all I need to check. Okay, now I just had it back. Whoa, that was weird. I guess because it's also considered a dash, it doesn't move forward. It only moves forward as far as a dash, so you can't instantly have a dash into it. It just means... Doing it. That's actually really nice for just destroying those. does not have a way to deflect projectiles at all. That's gonna be costly. It can go through it like that, but I'm afraid if I dash into that, I'm taking damage. All right, let's get the Sanguine Helm. The Warden is finished. Alright. Well, I got that warden trinket. I am now. I got the full warden set. I am content with this life. It did its job. much on the main guy in the center. I didn't notice the guys behind it. Oh well. Gravity beam. T defense rewards. Barbarian. Let's try out Barbarian. It's been a long time. And our gold is 554, which means we can buy nothing. So I do notice that the building costs are just a consistent thing across them. So... But yeah, just a consistent 630 basically says, here's the minimum. If you don't make this much, you failed. Which is kind of a painful thing to recognize. Ugh. If the new area gets too strong, I might try just cleaning out the post areas. Um, this isn't Lament of Zors, so going into the starter area a lot isn't, like, it's not going to consume the entire video just doing the starter area because it only has a limited size. Oop. I now know how those guys work. Oh my gosh. 
Just... I wish I could recover this in other ways than just getting hit. Oh. Still don't even know what the lilies do. Mm. Oh well. Thank you, chicken. Hey, more story. You have a gift. You're meant for so much more, Z. Stop wasting your talents trying to help everyone you meet. You could be working the citadel and creating change from inside. You don't have to suffer like this. If you fight, you'll die. Trust me, there's no winning this war. You have no idea how powerful Lamech is. It would take a miracle plus a hundred soldiers to stop him. Forgive me, I don't know why I'm writing this. I love you, Z, but you must open to com you must be open to compromise. I hope you don't hate me for what I'm asking. Yours, J. Alright. This is him realizing he has to. Is this the rivers that he was talking about? Is you step by killing these guys. I guess this isn't the river like he was talking about. Far shores, so it's probably off. I'm just gonna read that again real fast. So this is water. Up, oh, wrong one. Below the water line, I've tethered a resonant lo rope to the hair loop. I should be able to see a rope. Hmm. Also, this ivy has to be for something, right? Another chest plus one. All right. Again, too much steel is cost to make the leather, so just not worth it. All right. Awesome. Not awesome. Oh well. Deeper into the keem you go, the more blood sense you'll get. Okay. That's why I need to hear. Let's try a chef in there. Yeah. Six hundred thirty. One. One less than needed. Still nine up to buy anything. How much is it worth, by the way? Twelve fifty and ten twenty-five. Ugh. Oh well. At least that. At least my vault is getting bigger. items would be nice. It's these guys. Not so much. Oh, I was trying to get in there without picking it up. That was a perfectly timed punch, by the way. 
Okay. I'm assuming this is where the ivy is needed. She won't see anybody. She hasn't left the conservatory in months. You should stop wasting your time. Mr. Nama won't open her door unless you have an offering. She demands two Lily of the Valley Blossoms, but they are not easy to find. She has harvested most of them already. Good luck finding. Well, I did that once. The throne doors are currently sealed. So if I can just do that again, defeat all enemies. Great. Every fifth hit. E meat increases max health. Yeah, I think this will pay off in the long run. This is where the heirloom is. Under the water is a line. Huh. No idea. No idea. I'm gonna read it again real fast, because I found the far shore. Below the wire line, I've tethered a resonant rope to the heirloom. I don't know how to pull resonant things out, though. So that means you're so slow you get one good attack off, and that's it. Oop. Oh my gosh, a zombie appeared right where it was. I missed up one for the other. Oh my gosh. Alright. Did I really run into a projectile way back there? Treasure chest at the end here. Not worth that, this health. Secret Witch. This is just a connector. Access Monday, there's a bunch of items I can break there, and with those items, I might be able to get some meat because meat now increases my max health and it allows me to. Uh, I'm going to go back here to get some health, because I found the place I need to find. I just need to figure out how to access a resonant item. I thought I could kick off of resonance, but that's the baby me. And along the way, if I can find some meat, I can increase my max health. And... Try it. Nope. 
impossible for this character. I thought maybe if I press it in time. I nearly killed myself. All I need to do is find one piece of meat. That treasure chest is not worth it, I don't think. Nope, I need the meat in here. There we are. I'm willing to sacrifice the treasure chest for that meat. back where I started. And now I'm not. Awesome. Ooh. Leave the bone. It cost me 40 health, so it has just now paid off. And any other increases are proper improvements. So that's the first proper improvement. Yeah, I have two uses of the uh, chef's kiss. So let's. If I can't hit three, I'm just gonna kind of explore the area until I get enough to make. Basically, until I find a teleporter, I'm gonna keep exploring this area. Say it bounces out if you don't need vampirism like the old game. Also, whether or not you got vampirism early on was like a very big deciding factor in the old game. So. I have a feeling this is going to be more important later on, so I'm going to just unlock it now. Also, because it's one of those things that I can't purchase until later. Or, like, I have to be in the area to unlock. Means it's probably best it's just taken care of. Because I'm not always going to be in this area. I'm not always going to have money for it. So if I ever do need it, it's either now or a long time. draw them while I was teleporting through the pipes. Yeah, with a chef, I think that's worthwhile. Especially since a single thing of meat will make that very powerful. Oh my gosh. How can I resist? Alright. Let's go in. So, this, because of all this stuff, is likely to give me beats, which it already has. And so my max health is going to keep going up. This is now really becoming a tank of a chef. Hmm. 
You know, I've never tried attacking the pizza girl. She has a mannequin. I wonder if she makes the same noises. Huh. Oh well. I really like how they designed this, knowing that we'd all focus on the treasure chest and we wouldn't even think twice about the fact that this is also the room of lights that was discussed. Not to mention, it, um, it means in the early stages, there's an easy source of treasure while you're still like learning the game and the other rooms that are scarier and harder to beat. Well, I guess we're just gonna head right. We now have this treasure room, so we can... We know where we stopped. I'm gonna get that treasure, though. Not getting this one seems ridiculous. We now have a lot of max health. We now have the other room that goes with this. We have full things of chef. We're set. We are set. This, as long as I don't do stupid things, which is something I do have an issue with doing. Example. All that setup, all that preparation to be the best chef there ever was. All goes away in an instant. Oh my gosh, it's cartographer. I can't not pick a cartographer. It's not even a good spell list. It's just I can't not pick cartographer. So now do I have the full warden set? Yep. Alright. Alright. Don't really need to do anything else, I don't think. Just go on in. Oof. So, here's why I love the cartographer. So, we're in this area. We are right there. Actually, I don't know where we're at the top or bottom. Let's just check, is there any... There are zero fairy chests in this area. Alright, there are zero fairy chests. I mean, I can ignore this area. And we are there. Okay, Academy is just that entrance. Access Mundi. Can't really tell. It's really quick. I do. I am interested. There is some boss fight directly above us. I wonder if there's like a secret entrance somewhere around here, or if it's just something that comes later. I do know that there's probably one fairy chest in the area below me, but it's one of those that's like, it's not a room. It's the interior that where the fairy chest is. Here. So here's our entrance. We have a bunch of question marks. The fairy chest is up there by the boss. The rel relic is there. 
and there are all these areas I could basically narrow down where the ivy could be if I want to go for the ivy. I'm going first. Either way, I have to go for the boss first. So, so any of that way, it's right and up. And I take that one left. All right. I'll keep track of my location. Yeah, you, unfortunately, you do have to keep track of your location. Oh, man. And now I just go up. Yep. So from here... So there should be a, f a regular chest to my right. A small room with a chest above that. Awesome. So the correct way is left. But I do want to go up, check this room out. Yeah, this is a room I can beat. Darn tense. Oh my gosh! This is no longer a room that's easily defeated. Alright. Alright. Run, buddy, run. Oh, I was supposed to, supposed to downstrike, I guess. Alright, well, I didn't downstrike. So now I'm in. There's a treasure chest way off in the distance. Or I could just keep going up towards where I'm here for. Gathering more and more people, Jay. People like us, people who are sick of living down here. There's an heirloom in the citadel that grants people amazing powers. Where's that like dash here just fine? I think I've read this before. Yeah, this is where they're talking about the first. Why was that here? Why is the forest entries? Huh, that's really strange. So there's another chest room above us. Woo! Saw that just in time. Woo! Gotta jump, gotta get out of there. So a little armor. Oh boy. We are now on this long trek, so we just keep going right, because there's nothing below for us. Oh boy. didn't want to risk it flying back at me. Alright, question mark to our right.
Nama's memory. Only father. I'm. Um, this is another estuary. Only father believed in me. If not for him, my brothers would have had me sacrificed years ago. No farms, no mills, no hunting. Everything must stay in its natural state. We took better care of the land than the land cared for us. The yields were kept small, and the forest grounds untamed. And due to my wisdom and efforts, my garden has blossomed. In this land of death, I have given birth to a cornucopia of life. Don't till the earth, for farming drains the soil. Don't pen the animals, lest sickness spread through the livestock. Don't cut the young bow, for their growth enriches the land. Tend to the forest, as I tend to my own children. Take only that which is needed. Harvest only that which is dead or dying. Always, always, cold poison. Well, that's how one would describe a druid. That don't till the land, don't... Like... Hmm. Interesting. Alright, so the path is directly above me, if I can make it. Also, I might as well grab this treasure chest. Scary land. Still no meat, which I find even infuriating. Alright, so directly above, then right and up. Ah! Just run, just run, there's too many. Well, we now know more of the world at least. Mage all the way to rank 5, that's... Big. Diva gives me 36% more gold. That should be worth it. Hmm. Yep, let's do more knights. 1808. Yeah, I like this, because... It just all... Maze means... Like, all right. So sorry, I'm just not seeing Diva. But yeah, it allows me to make these light and such. So, 1525 for that. So I can have the chest plate and the helm. But I still need 10 more unity somewhere to start getting the sanguine effect. The sanguine effect is what I was looking for. Here. The only thing I need to buy is a siphon room. Alright. Well, we will start working on that next time. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. <laughs>